I always love doing these out of style videos because it just brings a lot of conversation to the video and a lot of us have our own opinions and I think that is awesome. So this video is going to be all about what I think is out of style for 2024 and these are not necessarily things that are things that you shouldn't wear. They're just things that have been on trend for a while that are now being replaced by something else or there's just something better and they are either on their way out or they are out altogether, although you might still see them for the season. And I do think there are better options, so I will give you better options for these things that I think are going out of style. And I hope you take this lightly and it's just something that is a fun video to do and a lot of you love it. So I hope you enjoy it and I hope you will let me know what you think in the comments below. So thank you so much for watching. If you love this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also consider subscribing, especially if you watch my videos and have not subscribed yet. I would love for you to do that. And remember to love your neighbor and be kind. So the first thing I want to talk about, and I think a lot of you will agree with me on this one, is that wearing everything oversized and even wearing them separately or wearing them together, but this majorly oversized look is going out of style. I think we're still going to see the baggy jeans, which I don't love, but the oversized blazers are not going to be as oversized. They're going to look a little bit more relaxed. And I think the oversized blazer that I have that I chose is a good option because to me, it does look a little bit more relaxed. It doesn't look so oversized that it overwhelms my body. And I have styled it with certain things that actually makes it look good. And so I think if we're going to pick oversized pieces we need to find some that are just relaxed and easy going and that we can mix and match with lots of different things and if you still love that oversized button-up shirt great but it's moving more towards your relaxed fit so this relaxed fit in the clothing that suits more people's casual lifestyles now is what everything is trending towards. And then it's also going to a little bit more tailored options if you like that a little bit better, looking a little bit more expensive and more put together. Um, because sometimes when you have all your oversized pieces on, it, it takes on a different feel, which is really not what the styles are trending towards. So if you still love those oversized pieces, wear them, just style them to where maybe they look a little bit more relaxed or find some that suit you a little bit better and fit your body better that are just relaxed and not completely oversized. So one thing that is going to be, I think, completely out of style in 2024 is formal suiting because suiting has really changed in the past few years. And I love it. I think it's great because there are more of two piece sets that you can break up and wear with other things. They are less formal in how they are styled and worn and they're less formal in how how the styles are in the garment so a lot of your blazers are a little bit different your pants might be shorts or a skirt you might mix the blazer up with your jeans and create a fun outfit there but the thing that is on trend is unconventional suiting so more casual suiting and i really love this i think it goes along with the relaxed lifestyle that a lot of us have and it just fits in really well even in a lot of the corporate environments that have gotten a little bit more casual and i think it can make your suiting a little bit more stylish as you make it a little unconventional if you layer things under it like a metallic t-shirt or something like that and just make it look a little bit different and a little bit more fun and i think that's really what suiting has moved towards and the formal suiting has been going out it's i think it's going to be completely out and just replaced by this unconventional more casual suiting and it appeals to a lot more buyers and a lot more lifestyles so i'm really happy about this next one and i'll explain it to you in a minute but i really think your plain jane button-up shirt is really out of style and i'm so glad it is because that plain jane button-up shirt just never really worked for me and it never really fit me all that well so button-up shirts have come a long way and so we have a lot of really really cool choices in button-up shirts now so you can find really fun textures great materials fun stripes and all kinds of colors you can find 
find white button ups that are a little bit more interesting now as opposed to just being very boring. And most of the button up shirts are not tailored anymore to the point where they are fitted to your body, but they are a little bit more relaxed. Some of them oversized, which I would go more for the relaxed. I think it will last in your closet a whole lot longer. Some of the oversized ones that you can find, you could size down one and it becomes more of a relaxed fit, which is what I do. And I just think you can do so much with these in a wardrobe that they should be a very good and prominent staple in your wardrobe. And if you haven't tried a button-up shirt in a long time, definitely try one again because a lot of them are made differently now, no matter where I have actually tried them on or found them. My favorite are from Cezanne. Um, if you have a favorite one, let me know in the comments below, whether it's a stripe, a print, a color, or just white, but I really think an elevated button-up shirt is what the trend is moving towards, and definitely your plain Jane tailored button-up shirt is definitely out. So I was not sure if I was going to talk about this one because it's not completely out of style, but it's definitely going out of style. And it's not something that is a major trend anymore. There's something that has replaced it. And that is your midi length skirts and dresses. So now instead of your midi, it's more on trend to buy the maxi length. And I have talked about this probably for the past two seasons before this year. So all of last year and the maxi skirt became really big in the fall with denim. And I do think this is going to be something that's a lot bigger in 2024. There's going to be a lot of really amazing options in maxi length dresses and skirts, whether it's denim or your flowy options. And I have been talking about this for a while and I think we're hitting the peak of this. And I definitely think it is replacing the midi. And I think almost anyone can wear a maxi length. It doesn't have to be all the way to the floor. It can be just to your ankle. Um, it's just, it's longer than your mid calf, which is where your midi lengths land. And I do think a midi length is great. Sometimes it can cut people's legs off weird if they don't have the right shoes and combinations. So I do think a maxi length can be a little bit easier to wear. So Hopefully you agree with me. Hopefully you like the maxi length and I would love to know in the comments below what you think. If you love the midi or if you love the maxi, if you think they're ones going out or, or not going out, either way, I think the midi is on its way out. It's definitely not trending and the maxi is replacing it. So this next trend I'm calling boring silhouettes because it's just about anything, um, any type of clothing item that is boring or even your accessories because all the textures that you can imagine with silks and velvets and you know tweeds and just different wools all of those things were really popular in fall and winter and in the spring you're still going to see a lot of really cool textures like silk and tweed and then you're still going to see things with sequins and in faux leather and just so many different textures available. And as I talked about in my sneaker trends video that I just put up, if you haven't watched that, I'll link it for you. But textures are going to define 2024 because a lot of the items just have gotten so boring. I guess they have to come up with something new that interests us, but there's a lot of texture. Uh, I bought this t-shirt that I have on that I think is really cool. It's a metallic t-shirt and they've got it in a couple other colors at Anthropology. but I've been eyeing this one because the metallics have been so big and it's just a t-shirt. So it's a really cool piece that I added to my wardrobe that I can mix in with other things. And that way you don't have to throw out some of your old boring pieces like this blazer I have. You just add something to it that makes it a little bit more interesting. So your boring silhouettes are out and your interesting silhouettes are in. You're a big trend that has been around for the past few years, maybe even several years, are masculine details in women's clothing. So a lot of the suiting looked a little bit more masculine as it came out. Some of the button-up shirts and things like that just had more of your masculine details to them. They looked like more menswear as opposed to women's clothing. And so now that is going out of style, which I am happy to say that it is and more feminine details are going to be shown. So you're going to see bows adorned on items. Fringe is becoming very popular. Sheer clothing is becoming very popular, which I think if worn well and done well can look very feminine. And a lot of the draping and the silk looking clothing and just 
the beautiful materials and the way things are starting to fit better are all of these feminine details that I think and I hope are going to be very big this spring and summer and hopefully in the fall and winter of 2024. So I never thought I would say this, but heels are out of style and flats are in style. So heels have been going out of style for a while. A lot of people just don't love wearing them. Some people do. I had a girl that I worked with and she had hammer toes from her high heels and she wasn't going to give them up. And so that might be you and you will never give them up. But now since the ballet flat ballet core has become so popular a more casual lifestyle has become so popular, sneakers have become so popular that flats are the in thing. And the one thing that I will mention is I think your kit and heel, which I talked about in a previous video is a trend. So if you don't want to do completely flat, you could do that kitten heel, which I don't think is in that same category as your high heels. And I do think that you can find a lot of items that are very wearable in that kitten heel. So that is a trend, but the biggest trend is going to be the flats category. So who knows? I don't know if this will last because platforms and high heels have been on trend for so many seasons now, but for 2024, you definitely should, if you have not yet, chosen a really good ballet flat or loafer or something like that that you could enjoy wearing and maybe make your outfits a little bit more modern. So are skinny jeans still out of style? And the answer in my opinion is yes in the type of skinny jean that we used to wear. So the skinny jeans that we used to wear were really skinny and the ankle tapered to be really skinny and fitted to the leg. So the hem or the opening of that leg was really small. Now the skinny jean that is back, which is in style for 2024, is more of your slim straight jean. And I've talked about this. It's more of a modern skinny jean because it doesn't taper as much at the end. So your hem is going to be a little bit more open and not as skinny to the leg. And so it looks a little bit like a straight leg, but it fits more on your legs so it's tighter all the way down so it's a slim straight and i love this style of jean i think it looks good on a lot of people i personally love it myself and it is what i'm most comfortable in because i used to love my skinny jeans and now the ones that i've tried that are a little straighter i think they go really well with a lot of the shoe options that are on trend right now a, a lot of the top options that are on trend right now and they just fit really well into my wardrobe so if you gave up skinnies because they were out of style then definitely try to add a new modern slim straight which is a skinnier jean to your wardrobe in 2024 and i think you will end up loving it a very big trend in 2023 it was barbie core pink and this is a very very bright hot pink and i actually thought the pinks would probably continue but this year for 2024 the color of the year as you know was a peachy pink so more peach and then the dominant color in fall and winter of 2023 was red. And so red is going to continue in 2024. And then you're going to see a lot of blues. So there was a lot of ice blue on the runway shows, but I've already seen lots of different shades of blue in store. And then you will see a lot of different pastels like your greens and yellows. And we will still see pinks. I think pink is always a color that is in style and trending but that barbie core really bright pink that was so big for 2023 is definitely going out and we are going to have a lot of really pretty choices for 2024 in some other colors so i would love to know if you think i'm right on this i have heard other people say this and looking around that is how the trends are going so let me know what you think of this one so I know there are more out of style trends that will come to my mind as the season gets started but this is what I have so far and 
I don't know. You might agree with me. You might not. I would love to know in the comments below and definitely check out my other trends videos that I have posted. There's a shoe trends video, a sneaker trends video, and then what to wear in denim for 2024 and then just a general trends video. And I will link all those for you and they're also on my page. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and also consider subscribing and I will talk to you next time.